Welcome back, folks and friends. Connecting Dots here. It is Wednesday, May 11th, and I'm making this video because someone sent me the link to the video you're seeing on the screen right now uh, regarding Kevin Blanche and his lies, asking me if I could make a video to just go over some of his BS. And you know what, guy? I will, but I can't go over all of it because um, there's just too much here. So I'm just going to stick with the main points that he makes and that he keeps lying about, okay? And the biggest one, and this one, folks, anyone who's been watching Kevin Blanche and his bullshit that's been coming out of his mouth since 2014, him and Dana Durnford, how they've been saying to death, the Pacific Ocean's dead, 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 dead. Then they change their mind, it's dying, dying, dying. And the latest words, well, you're not going to believe this. Honestly, uh, that's why, you know, normally I don't even go after... Uh, um, Kevin Blanche on a daily basis because it's every day it's a lie okay or a twisting of the information which is another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull out the uh, videos that are linked or I should say in the videos the website that's linked down below in this video of his where he's talking about it's not dying anyway uh, shocking stuff anyone who's been listening to this guy I got to share this this part of the minute here, uh, the video at three minutes, 11 seconds. I'm, folks, you're going to be, if you've been watching this guy since 2014 and what's been coming out of his mouth, you're just going to be like, what? Listen to this. I've never once, never once said the Pacific Ocean was dead. Never. Never once. What? Not, never. Not once. <laughs> okay. Is this guy with us or what? Or is he just like out to lunch? Or I think he, he probably knows that the people that follow him on, across his videos are mostly newcomers. Anyone doesn't, you know, most people don't stick around because of his mannerisms, the way he speaks. Um, you know, it's the same thing with Dana. They're cursor, they're swears, never provide any facts. Anyone takes their time to go look up the facts that they're quoting. Uh, it turns out they'll find out it's a different ball game. <clears throat> yeah. According to Kevin, he's never once said the Pacific Ocean was dead. Oh, yeah. In fact, this is what he's saying here now. This is what he's been saying, he says. I've never said she was going to go. To, I've said the opposite of that. I've said from day one, she's going to fight back. You're no match for her. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I'm trying to figure out here. So why are those guys getting folks to send the money again for what? He's saying now it's going to fight back. It's not dying. You're, we're no match for her. So why is he... I don't know. All I know is he went from it's dead, it's dead. And then I, you, you may have watched my video, I guess, that was about, what, six months ago, nine months ago. I said, oh, folks, look. Him and Dana changed their tune here. They're now saying the Pacific Ocean is dying. You know, they went from in August of 2014, everything is dead, it's dead, 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 5,500 species missing, but only one guy in a wheelchair noticed it on the West Coast, and then well, now it's dying. In fact, Dana's, he's augmented, now it's 4 million species that, have dead, that are dead here on the West Coast, and it's only the guy in a wheelchair who's noticed it who happens to live in a trailer park. I mean, this stuff needs to be on TV. You know, I think I think we can make a series out of this stuff. Okay, so anyways, let's get into the the, the whole uh, sardine genocide. I mean, this guy. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I've actually gone into his video and I've pulled out the stories that he he's shown. Okay. <clears throat> and go over all of them because like I said I'm not going to go over all his bullshit I think I just debunked them right there anyone who's been listening to this goofball already knows he's been saying it's dead 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 and I think it was about nine ten months ago where they switched gears it's dying 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 look it's dying it's a genocide it's dying and now well no now it's the don't worry that the ocean is too strong it's going to fight back and yeah okay Oh, I'm telling you, like I said, this should be on TV. This could be a mini-series. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Okay, so I'm, this is the first story, that, he, or the only story that I'm going to show of his, and it's the Pacific Sardine Collapse, or since scientists worry about the ecosystem ripple. Okay, so don't worry, it's not the end of the world here. What I do want to do, what I would like to do, though, is go back to the, the graph <clears throat> that Kevin's not going to show you, of course, right? Because if he was going to... If, Kevin wants to make this type of video, people could read the stories in the background and say, oh, hold on a second, Kevin, it actually says this. So why does this keep reappearing? I'm not quite sure, but 
Long story short, keep track here of the year 2007, 1 million metric tons, and it's been on a down world. Oh, yeah, 2011, Fukushima. You remember March 2011? Boom, so it was already going down. He's not going to tell you that, okay? In fact, it had already lost by 2011. Yeah, that's right, 50%. So it was already a big decline. And I want you to pay attention to the Pacific part because he's not going to talk to you about that part. So essentially the, 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 the what you're going to get out of this is that the Pacific sardines, this is the West Coast sardine population. The ban was enacted a year ago, and that's another thing. It's not everywhere where this has been banned. He's saying the entire Pacific Ocean lies, lies, lies again, okay? The story here is from uh, March 25th, 2016, and this is a story from Tokyo, and they talk about what? all oh, the pr fish processing and how they, they're they mixing in. That's right, mixing Pacific sorry in with pelagic fish, and some of those fish were, that's right, sardines, canned sardines. So essentially, uh, it's not banned everywhere. But it was banned on the west coast but again it's the important part of it that you got to pay attention to here is the fact that these numbers were extremely low even before fukushima they had already lost 50 percent and the uh, what's important also is the fact that they're saying here um you know there's only seven percent left from its highs of the 2007 peak so it didn't all take place in fukushima okay this is very important he's not going to speak to you about that and he's also not going to mention the fact that there's been overfishing, and I'll get into that in the next article. And he's not going to speak to you about the fact that this warm blob that's been off uh, off the west coast here and the lingering mass overheated water and how it's played havoc on the sea life on the Pacific coast. He's not going to talk to you about that. you got to go watch my videos at Connecting Dots too, okay? I just made a video last week on the blob and uh, the U.S. Our Navy, how they're holding a five-year exercise, which the explanation to the whales have been washing up on the, the, the West Coast, okay? That's another thing that the uh, goofball was talking about, uh, all these whales. Well, he's not going to talk about how the Navy admitted themselves, the U.S. Navy, there was going to be a five-year exercise, and they were going to be killing large whales. They said roughly 1,600 whales. Go watch my video. I make a lot more sense out of it. So I, what I want to share with you also, so we know the Bob, we know the Army, I mean the Navy exercise. We know that there's been overfishing. I want to share with you, this one's out of the Times of India, India here, and it talks about tuna catch falls by 50% within, within a year, just a year. Again, not Fukushima, while other fish landing rise. Oh yeah, how come it's not dying there? Again, well, what, Fukushima's not reaching them? I'm not quite sure, but it's the boom and bust of the ocean that I've been speaking about all along. This is what happens in nature, folks, okay? Boom and bust. So essentially, you can read all of this, hit the space bar if you want. They talk about the pelagic fish, so it's not just one group, okay? Pelagic fish are fish that uh, they're not uh, near, or, or near or close to the bottom, nor near the shoreline, so basically live out in the ocean, okay? comprises many fish hit the space bar if you want to read this i, I gotta limit this video to 10 minutes and essentially um, what's important is the fact that these numbers have uh, declined but overall the fishing has been increasing okay increasing non-stop and they're saying the off the, the weird part about it is the fact that uh, the increase has been taking place but it's been achieved despite uh, Vizag's coast being more polluted and littered compared to other districts due to domestic industrial influence and tourism activities. So that's right. Imagine that. The fish is increasing, but the tuna is uh, dropping. But that was only that one year. And if you read the whole story, they talk about how the, the tuna moves around, okay? The, the climate conditions, the, the changing, the wind directions, it affects them. So essentially... <clears throat> That's what's been playing havoc. We've had the warm blob. We've had the Navy itself admitting they're going to be killing thousands. And in my video shows it's going to be quite a few thousands. And the fishing has been dropping way before Fukushima. And Kevin Blanche has just come forward saying now he's never said the Pacific Ocean was dead. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, enough with this gong show. I hope you got enough of this.